Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a magnetic excursion update Sunday, November 9th, 10 p.m. Mountain Time, 2025. G2 geomagnetic storming is expected for November 11th through the 12th. That is care of multiple coronal mass ejections headed towards our planet. So buckle up, Buttercup. The fireworks are real. We've got 16 states on Aurora alert, so buckle up, Buttercup, and tons of snow coming to North America. Keep calm. It's boom time. Super Typhoon Fung Wong slams into the Philippines, killing two and displacing one million. Holy macaroni. Super Typhoon Fung Wong slammed ashore on Sunday in the northeastern coast of the Philippines where the massive storm has already left two people dead, forced more than a million to evacuate from flood and landslide prone areas. Well, it's going to take a while to get some more information from this storm, but prayers and thoughts go out to all those involved. Winter weather alerts for nine states as 18 inches of snow to hit. Like Schmidt, Michigan could have thunder snow today and tonight. And, well, we can see all this snow on the forecast. And there is uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday right there. So that's all the snow they're fear-mongering about, which is good news for the Northeast. And by the time we hit late next week, Thursday, November 13th, heavy snow moving into the West, including the Sierras and all of the Rocky Mountains, as this model is looking epic. And now the full forecast, a frigid air mass to bring significantly colder temperatures to the southeast. Take a look at these frost and freeze warnings. They are everywhere, folks. Snow continues downwind of the Great Lakes, and it's real. So bring your sensitive plants in, and this is all of the lower 48 in the southeast. A frigid cold air mass will bring significantly colder weather across the eastern two-thirds of the country early this week. Record low temperatures are expected in the southeast by Tuesday morning. Moderate to heavy lake effect snow will continue downwind of the Great Lakes through Monday with several inches of snow accumulating expected, including portions of Chi-Town, Metro, and more. Holy macaroni, the only safe space is central and southern Florida. Everything else is in frost and freeze warning. So heed those warnings and bring in those sensitive plants. Seismic update. Biggest quake of the day is a major quake, which has now been erased, here off of Japan. And I think it was a 6.4. Uh, probably can't find it. Where is the big one? There it is, 6.4 in Yamada, Japan. Dozens of aftershocks. No one really affected. A little bit of an uptick on the west coast here near, near San Fran. But overall, low-level activity worldwide. And we just reported on the 36th lava fountaining episode at Kilauea. It was spectacular. And we live streamed it on Rumble over at Oppenheimer Ranch Project. Just to give you a little bit of the fireworks, let's see if we can pull some of this data up. It is now still parsing, but holy macaroni. Take a look at that. Could be some of the highest lava fountainings ever at Kilauea during this episode. Take a look at that. So come support us over at Rumble at Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News. Uh, follow us there and get all of the live streaming activity. We're still processing this video. That's how long it actually was. Six hours of continuous venting. Bringing us to Worldwide Volcano News. Popo, volcanic ash has dis dissipated. Reventador at 15,000 feet. Nevada de Ruiz today, volcanic ash dissipating. Planchon Petroa, continuous ash emissions. Santa Guito, sporadic emissions of volcanic ash. Take a look at the new format over here. I like it. Ibu, eruption was reported. We've got Fuego to 15,000 feet, San Gay to 23,000 feet, uh, an eruption reported at Semadu. Who knew? Now you do. Popo to 19,000 feet, Reventador possible volcanic ash, Fuego to 16, small discrete volcanic ash emissions to 15,000 at Santa Guito, Planchon Petaroa to 15,000, Ibu puffing as well, Santa Guito uh, puffing as well, and Semadu 
an eruption was reported. 13,000 foot blast at Kilauea, which uh, we implore you to go watch over at Oppenheimer Ranch Project on Rumble. Fuego to 16,000 feet, an eruption reported at Ibu, wrapping up the list today. 16 states suddenly on Aurora Alert Sunday as the sun unleashes an X flare. The northern lights could be visible across as many as 16 northern states in the U.S. on Sunday, November 9th, into Monday, November 10th, with the G2 geomagnetic storm being forecast by space weather experts at NOAA. It comes in the wake of a trio of X-class solar flares, the latest, an X1.7 event on the morning of Sunday, November 9th. Well, that one won't get here for days. So these people are idiots. There's the flare in question. That one's not coming till maybe the 11th or the 12th. Uh, and we'll just show you the model here. It's pretty simple. Here is the flare on the 7th. Here is the big flare today on the 9th or the 10th. That won't arrive till the 11th or the 12th. It's funny how these articles are written uh, with people that are writing them that have no experience watching space weather or have any idea what they're talking about. Okay, so the three-day geomagnetic forecast is looking spicy, uh, and that big long-duration X-flare won't arrive until November 11th and extend through the 12th. We could be seeing at least... Nine hours of a continuous G2 storm or even higher. It all depends on how their models work out. Yeah, like we really don't know if they know what they know. And that's what we know. Just be prepared for some fireworks in the sky. Not a grid down scenario, nothing significant. We're dropping down into solar minimum, but we're praying for the Carrington event 2.0 so that we can get rid of of all of these idiots on the planet. I said it, and I'll stick with it. One of those idiots is Avi Loeb, who continues to claim uh, complex jet structures emanating from 3I Atlas may be nuclear reactors on this spaceship. I don't know why this guy can't get canceled, because he's canceled, in my opinion. The guy has no idea what he's talking about. There are now up to seven plasma tails, including an anti-tail facing Earth, which is all predicted with the electric comet model, not Avi Loeb's model, which is um, retardation and uh, clickbait. Yeah, he's getting famous. He's making millions of dollars doing spots because he's a douchebag and he's lying to the public. Or he's just an idiot, which is completely possible from any PhD from Harvard. You know, you, want, you don't want to be an idiot? How about Starlink for homes for free? No upfront hardware costs. Starlink is free. Yeah, with free professional setup and just 80 bucks a month. The fastest high-speed internet is available for the cheapest ever. And this is new. This is just in the last few months. Thank you, Elon Musk. No upfront hardware costs. Free professional setup for Starlink. Just put your address down here and see if you qualify. Support the channel and support your high-speed internet. It's that easy. And that's a boom to knowledge. Hit the thumbs up. Do all those YouTube things. The most important thing you can do tonight is subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers by New Year's. I know it will take a miracle, and you may be just one of them. Be safe. We love you. And that's a boom. Nee, nee.